Well, how I understand Easter. First of all, Easter, we begin with the Holy Week. We have to re reflect on our spiritual lives because this is a time when we see Jesus died for our sins. For those who actually know religion, I am a Catholic and I believe on Good Friday, Jesus died for our sins. And as we are, um, as we are reflecting on our spiritual life, we have to put into context that there is a man who gave up his life and was able to sacrifice being alive for us. So, um, yeah, I believe, I understand Easter as a celebration. Most people, of course, are going to go and drown themselves in bars, but me, I believe it's a time we should go to church, visit our God. If you cannot go on Christmas or New Year's Day, at least this is a time that you should put aside and go and visit your God. Guys, I, I think Easter has become commercially significant. Uh, these days, uh, people share gifts, things like confectionaries, fast foods. So it's a period of not only going to church, because God is everywhere, guys. So Easter period is a time of celebration, a time of getting together with family, and, and not just eating food. It's, it's a time of having fun. And I believe religion is the four, the four pro, four pro, you get it? Yeah, fine, you put, you can, your gifts are not bad, but you should have that on Valentine's, Women's Day, but this is Easter, this is, put, we need to be holy, because it's a time for reflection, spiritual reflection. So that means that if it's not Easter period, it's not them. Yeah, I believe that reflection should be an everyday thing. Yeah, thank you very much. And I agree with you. But the reality is, the first thing that, personally, the first thing that comes to my mind is celebrations and food. Food. That's the thing that comes to my mind. But of course, I will consider going to church first. Thank the Almighty for guiding me throughout the Lent. I don't know if any of you has been fasting. If you've not been fasting, please. But uh, I, I try it, Andrew. I try fasting, but, uh, but things are not nice. But, but, but the first thing you, can do is, you should always do is when you get to church on Easter, you pray, thank God for keeping you throughout the Lent, then food will come later on. I believe it should be a moment of sharing food, um, spending time with family. What do you think? So according to you, there is no food involved. <laughs> there is no mean Jesus involved. Don't preempt our submission. What, what do you think? Well, I personally, I think I've grown up uh, looking, I, I don't, I see Easter as just like any other day. And uh, I think maybe because of my background, my faith. Wait, guys. So I mean, what I know is I pray every day. So I mean, whenever I wake up, no. I last went to church, I think that was a long time ago. Because I believe, can even if I don't go to church, even if I don't go to church, I still pray. I mean, I pray at home. And uh, I'm very sure that God is everywhere. Before, before this uh, Christianity came, our, I mean, our grandparents used to pray from anywhere. I mean, we... Me, I believe I, I, I'm still maybe in the other tradition, the tradition. But if you if you can pray from anywhere, and yes, God hears. I mean, He listens and answers your prayers. So me, Easter, what I think I'll just get up, pray, like the normal praying. I don't fast this fasting of. Uh, so I, I I only I only fast when I know that I, I need something, but it doesn't come from the background of. Yeah. So that means, so when, uh, when you're praying on Easter, what, who do you pray to? Because, because if you're saying you, you pray on, on Easter on Sundays, that, so that means you're praying to, you pray, so that means you're praying to, okay, so who do you pray to? I pray to God, Jesus, but I don't take Easter to be something very special that I have to wake up, go to church, I have to cook, I mean, so prepare I mean, some nice pray, food. I don't want, I don't want to sound rude, but I just don't think you do understand the meaning of Christian of Easter in Christianity because Easter this is when Jesus rose from the dead. Thank you. After dying for us for our sins. So if you're saying you believe in Jesus, then that means you must anything that that, that is attached to Jesus that, that runs in the, in the circles of Christianity. So that means you must respect these days. But but guys, I we we can guys I, I think we can we can we can go on and on talking about guys. I think we can go on and on talking about Christianity. But the fact that she doesn't believe in what you believe in, it doesn't render her wrong on you, right? I think what we need to do, we need to go back and we need to go back and reflect on how Easter was those days, and then we can relate how it is now, and maybe we can be able to find a solution to this. You're watching Morning at NTV. Um. In Wow, um, interesting views there on Esther and um, Melanie for me is typical of what Esther is all about these days. Uh, she, says, uh, is, she sees Esther as any other day.
But you see, when, when she said, I see Esther like any other day, there's one thing that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. The reason why Esther and the Holy Days were special to us back then. I'll tell you one thing. That Easter holidays, Christmas, those are the days when you would wake up in the morning and have breakfast with milk, bread, and eggs. <laughs> now, uh -huh. milk, bread, and eggs is something you can have every day of your life because things have changed. Right. On days like that, that's the only day you would have one plate with meat, chicken, rice, and matoke on one plate. In chapati. And ch and <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And chapati. On, on days like that. Mm -hmm. But now, even on Monday, a useless Monday, okay, I don't know why I'm calling it a useless Monday, but even just on an ordinary Monday, you find someone having breakfast with chicken and eggs and chapati. People and are rich so, now. So, so the, 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 the feel of these holidays has cut. On holidays like this is when you are actually, even the young kids at home, were allowed to drink soda. Mm. This is when the folks bought a whole crate of beer. Were you uh, getting new outfits for Easter? I, I don't want to get into the ad outfit because <laughs> there's, there's an embarrassing moment there. But, <laughs> but it's only on days like this that you'd actually see a crate of beer mm. and a crate of soda in a house. These days, come to my house. There's a crate of soda just there, just for us to drink mm. on any day. That's the only day you'll see those big bottles of soda. On days like that, but now I think that has kind of killed the Easter mode. Because and that's why I think this time round, um, of course, in this day and age, it's good to put into perspective the reason for the season, yeah. so it can make sense. Yeah. Because nowadays things are just normal. Like you're saying, it's easy it's to just, just easy. every day every feast on a plate that has everything, everything. on a day-to-day -day basis. Things that you used to enjoy so then, on those days. Yeah. So then, what will make it, you know, meaningful for I you know. is for you to remember the reason behind the season and, and this is Jesus Christ and even the other thing um, on days like that it was a must for you to go to church mm -hmm. well now because of the, the, the world evolving people go to church on Monday on Tuesday on Wednesday so he's thinking it's a Sunday what's in book is God showing up on Sunday on Easter Sunday no I've been praying the whole week so I can take that day off and sleep so it's it's church on Easter Sunday was Failed to capacity. There were tents outside the church. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the offertory on that day, you would even leave the priests mumbling. They'd be like, oh, today we have co 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 collected. <laughs> it would be too much money. Right. But now, all these things are day-to-day -day things. Mm -hmm. So, I think that is what has taken away some of the joy of uh, uh, these holidays. But anyway, we're into um, the Easter holidays and uh, we're not trying to ruin them for you. We're just trying to tell you that it's not like they used to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and of course to have that conversation and um, to just see how children can also be engaged during this season. We are joined by Mr. Maurice Hasser. He is the founder of Kaleke Kasome you know, Foundation. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Many Thank remember you. Maurice Hasser for a song that he did. And that's where he got the idea of Kaleke Kasome. Uh, in case you are uh, born in this new era of age limit, um, <laughs> let's play you this song. <laughs>
Well, um, <laughs> there it is. We have looped you in new age limit uh, era, <laughs> era kids. Um, <laughs> Kaleke Kasome is a song that was done in 2005. Wow. Glad to hear that you haven't lost your voice because there has been a big transition by the look of things in that video. You mm -hmm. have lost some teeth there. You still have your own. <laughs> You see, you had your whole set. Uh, I can see. I think you had your hair back then. Clearly, yeah. now it has uh, deserted your head. It has migrated. <laughs> <laughs> and he now looks more polished. Yes, now you look more polished. You, you know? don't look like uh, one of those boys from that area. I'm not going to mention people will uh, uh, pick on me. But, um, uh, man, Morris Asa, you have changed a lot. But uh, for the good, mm -hmm. you're looking good. You're looking Thank older. You. Yeah. yeah, and um, unfortunately, unfortunately, oh, in that video, we, yeah, we father. couldn't tell yeah. whether you were darker or lighter because of uh, uh, 2005, uh, 2005 video quality. Was, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and not that good. Is it? Camcorder? Hey, you used a camcorder? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. These days it's a Canon, it's a red, it's a what? And they even have lights. I think for you there, you have to wait for the sun. To come for out. the sun, and then reflectors and. You know, uh, it's uh, hard. But, uh, you have listened to Fresh Kids' new song, Bambi, yeah? Bambi. Yes. Oh, the yeah. in interpretation of um, <laughs> that song is um, Let Her Go to School. Mm -hmm. It's um, a song that was dedicated to the girl child and um, asking you, uh, the guys that are looking out for the little child that is still going to school, to let her finish school. Yeah. And then you can go on and talk to her parents first, of course. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but that's a very good, you have a foundation out of it, Kaleke Kasome. Yeah, now uh, we, 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 with, a, with, a, with a, a group of friends, we realize that, okay, this song reached so far, and Uganda's embraced it, so we... They, they brought up an idea. How about if we start up an organization to fully go on ground and uh, advocate more to end sexual and gender-based violence mm -hmm. of girls and help them keep them in school, create awareness to see that this vanishes from, from, from our continent. Food, to see that no more child, no more girl suffers uh, 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 defilement and to see that uh, to see that uh, no more girls lose school, uh, drop out of school because right. of teenage pregnancy and stuff like that. So, so the organization was actually founded, the foundation was started in 2013. Yeah. How many girls have you been able to, you know, um, sort out so far? Uh, the organization has so far reached over 6,000 children. Mm -hmm. 6,000? 6,000. Wow. Because we do advocacy, we help girls stay in school. Yeah, we help the girls from marginalized communities, marginalized families uh, stay in school by providing school fees. Some who cannot, uh, that's the only way to keep them to delay teenage pregnancy right. or to, to do that. And, uh, and uh, through also our advocacy, we, we, we help different, different children uh, through counseling and guidance, provide uh, reusable sanitary pads, also uh, give them um, training on menstrual and hygiene management. So yeah, we've so far reached over 6,000 and continuing to push and see that uh, no more girls suffer teenage pregnancy. Mm -hmm and defilement and also work, working closely with the probation officers, uh, child and family protection unit to see that uh, we help uh, bring the perpetrators to book. Right. Yeah. Um, today in the papers we saw that story, one of the richest men in the country, uh, Sudiru Parega, under his foundation, he's uh, giving a scholarship to 1,000 students. You're talking wow. of 6,000 students. Are you getting any financial help from uh, we're not We're not giving like a scholarship to the 6,000. Yes. Yeah. But you're giving them some, some yeah. help. So far the, the, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so far the organization is uh, giving a, a tuition to about uh, 60. Okay. 60 girls. This is full tuition. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, we, we, the others, we reach them, we reach to them, uh, we reach out to them through counseling, through school outreaches, community outreaches, and uh, we also give uh, rehabilitation. 
are you getting funds on help from somewhere how is the organization getting that money because for you to first of all to reach out to them mm. is a task you have to drive to villages you have to go places and then to give them all this support 60 are getting tuition yeah. uh, I don't think you're getting that out of your own pockets no. uh, so where are you getting the funds to do this we have different individual funders who are helping us mm. so far and then also we we, 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 we help or we, we, we apply for grants funds okay. and uh, we get a little that comes in and then we see how to budget for it uh, stuff like uh, that. Mala is one that has a very very good heart in case she wanted to chip in with uh, her April salary mm. just to help you. Yeah, that um, would be so nice. I, that smile tells you everything. She's <laughs> looking forward to giving you that money. Support how does she? How does she get to support you guys? Uh, one, you can go to our website www.kalikekasome.org. Mm -hmm. You click the donation button, and. Uh, you can give us a salary, right? Yeah, the April salary, and it goes to support the girl child yeah. stay in school and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then also you can decide to buy scholastic materials. Yes, I was about to get there. Reusable sanitary pads. You know how it is, right? In the, especially in the rural communities. Mm -hmm. So you reach out to us with the box. Many people have reached out to us with these scholastic materials, and indeed we have helped. They have, they have, they have really helped keep more and more girls in school, right? Because right. it's a problem that. Not so many. La, la, you find that like, a, a girl may stay out of school because of reusable sanitary pads, right. because of scholastic materials and stuff like that. You're doing a great job. And so this Easter Monday, you're going to do something special, of course, um, in conjunction with NMG, Nation mm. Media Group. Tell us more about it. Yeah, we, we are so, 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 so happy and glad that, uh, that uh, Nation Media uh, KFM, Dembe FM, NTV, Spark TV, you guys are so amazing. Uh, reached out to us and were like, we want to organize something together for the kids to come and have fun. It's, a, it's an Easter holiday. Paint eggs, uh, have board games, bouncing castles, swim around. And then uh, we sat down and were like, how can we do it? They said, are parents free? And then the kids will be paying ten thousand, only ten thousand shillings, and then you have all this, this package of fun. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, ten percent of the gate collection goes towards supporting the, the girl child and the foundation all in right. NPG. Okay. So the the the, the, the event will start at, uh, from um, eight in the morning to five at the new obligato. Now new obligato is before is before. Um, one day gear mm -hmm. it's on Bombo Road before one day gear and before um, what, YMCA. Okay, so uh, parents and children, so many, so a lot of fun. Myself, I'll be there. Kenzo, the B2C, I've chipped in the the ghetto kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, the ghetto kids. Oh, yes, the ghetto kids are gearing up, wow. and so we're going to have a, a, a package of um. Uh, a, a fun field day. All right. An Easter Monday field day. An with Easter fun. Monday. Okay. I hope you're bringing your child along with you. So that, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My wife too. Mm -hmm. Oh, we shall be there. Okay. okay. Where would you bring your child and leave your wife home? But you, man. Boris <laughs> Hossa <laughs> joining us this morning. Um, we're looking forward to Easter Monday. It's 10,000 Ghana shillings mm -hmm. at uh, the new Obligato. Yeah. Uh, bring your kids, um, bring your wife as well. Don't leave her behind. <laughs> it's uh, free for adults. It's, it's free for adults. The kids <laughs> pay 10,000 Ghana shillings. Right. And come, let's have fun as we support uh, the girl child in Mpiji. Yeah. That is, yeah? yeah. Okay, 10% of the get collections are going to help uh, the girl child in Mpiji. Uh, thank you very much, Maurice, for joining us uh, this morning. Nice to see you in real color not like in your video <laughs> and uh, we we wish you all the best with uh, your engagements there in case you're wondering what these cups are this is inspired africa coffee is what we're enjoying this morning thanks to the guys as well for hooking us up on uh, a friday morning a good friday coffee really does well on a day like this so <laughs> and we hope to see you all right also there yes, yes. and we need that salary to support the guys I'll, gi I'll give you all my salary <laughs> yeah all of it all of it. Uh, support your fellow guys. Right. Yeah. Okay. And mm. of course, my foundation will also maybe chip in as well. I have a foundation. Yes, I run my own company. So that we'll, we'll, we'll have that conversation, conversation after this. Later. All right. <laughs> okay. So we're taking a short commercial break. We'll be coming back with what Easter eggs really mean. Mm -hmm.